Hi, you guys. My name is Devani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you how I created these yummy sawfish balls. So keep watching. Mmm. Good job, babe. <laughs> Selfish balls are an ideal finger food that is packed with flavor. These are all the ingredients that I use to create this recipe and they can be found down below in the description box with the exact measurements that I use for this. I started off with boiling my saltfish and my potatoes. Once I am done with those, I mash the potatoes and then I will go in to finally shred in the saltfish. You, want, you also want to get your veggies, your onions, your peppers, and jalapenos blended as finely as possible. That way in the balls, they're not big chunks of onions and whatever. So make sure you use a food processor if you have and get those as fine as possible. After I'm done mashing the sawfish, I'm gonna go in with the mashed potatoes and then I'm gonna fold that in as well. Be sure to mix this thoroughly. It's gonna start to thicken up in a little bit, but just keep going, you'll see the outcome is gonna be great. Once I am done mixing in the mashed potatoes, I'm gonna go in with three tablespoons of that seasoning mixture that I made in the beginning of the My mixture includes onions, bell peppers, jalapeno pepper, and scotch bonnet pepper. I use a food processor for that, blended it really fine, and then I'm gonna incorporate that into this dish. This part is a very important to go in with your seasoning. I think you, you should add your seasoning and taste test at this stage because once you add the raw eggs, you won't be able to taste it. The seasonings I used for this were adobo sazon seasoning as well as ground black pepper. Now I'm gonna mix all that in and it's starting to thicken up so now it's a good time to go in with your two eggs. You're gonna, I'm gonna use a fork for this and I'm gonna fold the eggs in and then the mixture is gonna start to get a little wet and a little loose but that's fine because you're gonna thicken it right back up with your one cup of plain breadcrumbs. For this breadcrumb step, you're going to do it a little bit at a time. You, you don't want to add all of it too much because while you're mixing, you will be able to feel the mixture thickening up. So go in some, some at a time and feel it out until you get a nice solid hold or until you can spin or turn the mixture with your spoon and all of it comes together in one solid ball. Like you would see right here, it's holding very well and I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon and form tiny balls into my hands. Now I know it's good to go because the mixture isn't sticking to my hands and it's time to get ready to fry. On a plate, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs and I'm gonna roll the ball into that and then shake off the excess and set aside. Before I start rolling the mixture, however, make sure your hands are clean and washed and use this time to also preheat your stove or preheat your oil on the stove on medium heat. This mixture made 30 sawfish balls to be exact. And that's it up close and now we're going to go right into frying. Be sure to keep this on medium heat, you don't want it to fry or cook too fast and having it on medium heat also prevents the breadcrumbs on the outside from burning too fast because you don't want it to look black on the outside you want to have a nice golden brown finish once your sawfish balls are equally as golden brown on both sides it's time to take them off of the heat add your extra set of sawfish balls to fry or that's going to be the end of this dish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's a close up of the saltfish balls that I made. Everything that I mentioned, all the ingredients, measurements and step by step will be down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Everybody stay blessed. Everything is copacetic. Cool. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. 
we never gonna rest till everybody bless. Make sure say everybody bless. Yeah, yeah. Everybody bless. Mess up one and another stay. The other on your chest.